Experts say with peak travel season ending, airlines are lowering prices to try to bring up demand. Some travelers tell me they're taking advantage of these deals and already have last minute summer trips planned. I just booked a trip to Tampa um, in two weeks at the end of the month, so super excited for that. Got a good price on it, actually, for booking a few days ago. I think we got round trip for a, a price point that felt like it fit in our budget, and um, we're just going to head out to the beach in North Carolina and enjoy the last few days of summer uh, before school starts. Domestic airfare is averaging about $240 per round trip ticket, down about 3% compared to last year and well below pre pandemic levels. According to Hopper, prices are historically lower booking from most major U.S. airports. Destinations offering the best prices include Orlando, New York City, and Seattle. And it's not just airfare. AAA says gas prices are about 40 cents less than they were last year. Rental car prices are down too, averaging about $44 per day. Hotels are up slightly, but many end of summer travel. Travel promotions will continue through Labor Day, and economists say booking ahead for September and October can save travelers about 30% on plane tickets. This year, on top of that regular seasonal dip in demand, we're also seeing many airlines have oversupplied. There are more flights available and seats available to book than are needed in the market, and that has put more pressure on prices, bringing them down to where they are today. A spokesperson from AAA tells me gas prices are likely to remain low past Labor Day weekend. At Denver International Airport, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 32 Chicago.